Hey guys, we're now into part two of the OpenTX installation. And as you can see, I've left the screen pretty much where it was. The extraction process of the SD card contents is finished and it's showing me what's inside. We'll go over that in just a minute. But the main thing right now is we've got OpenTX loaded. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and get our radio set up. And in this case, for this particular video, I'm gonna be using my FreeSky uh, QX7S radio. This is running the ACCST, not the Access Edition, but that's because the drone I'm about to work on has the ACCST drivers on it and I wanna kinda of match what the customer's using, okay? And I know you can run ACCST on an Access Radio, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. All right, so first thing is, I'm just gonna go ahead and close the SD card contents folder and this is our OpenT OpenTX companion Windows folder that we created. So if you go back to our drone files, look how everything's organized now. We have our transmitters folder, we have our OpenTX folder, we have our um, uh, CP2, uh, CP210X drivers and so forth. Everything is, getting, and we will end up with a BL Heli folder and so forth, but keep everything organized. I'm gonna minimize that right now and focus on the OpenTX folder, okay? So first thing we wanna do is, <coughs> we need to establish a, um, a uh, file structure here and we need to establish our radio, right? So this is the first radio we're gonna set up under this new thing. So we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go to um, radio profiles, okay? And I think my dogs are gonna start barking because the male people just showed up, so have patience. And we're gonna click add profile. So this radio is called a uh, QX7. Oh my gosh, I forgot to change the keyboard again. I gotta remember these things. QX7 um, uh, ACCST, let's just call it that, okay? And what we wanna look at here is, now we're gonna to go to our radio type, and we need to find that in the drop down. So let's look for QX7, and you're gonna find the X7 actually. So the X7, X7S is right here, and it's not the it's not the A Access Edition, this is the ACCST Edition. And the way you can tell is, if you look at the radio right here, right, right here, and it says ACCST. The Access one will say Access on it, okay? Just in case you're not sure, all right? Okay, so ACCST, so we're gonna click that. All right, and I'm gonna do the, um, let me see, I'm gonna use Lewis scripts, we'll get into all that later. Uh, we can use the Flex 9RM, we're not doing any heli. I think everything else I'm just gonna leave like it is. Now here's where we wanna set up our settings, okay? So the SD structure path is the path where we download those files and place them so that it can synchronize with our radio and the SD card that we have on our radio. If you don't have an SD card, I advise you to get one. It's gonna help you out quite a bit down the road. So let's go ahead and set our SD structure path. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click select folder, okay? And we're gonna create it. We're not gonna use the folder that we downloaded because it's got a bunch of files we don't need. So what we wanna do is go back to your downloads, go back to your drone files, go to your transmitters folder. And you remember how we created this folder, the FreeSky QX7S ACCST? Double click that. And then somewhere in here, I want you to right click and left click on new. And then go to folder and just type SD card. That's it, okay? Make sure that's the folder that's located here and click select folder, okay? Now you have a backup folder. Now this backup folder is interesting because it will actually most likely be the backup for all your stuff. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow this method. We're gonna click select folder. Now it's gonna put us back in already in our, on, on our FreeSky QX7S where we put our SD card. So just right click on here, go to new folder and just type the word backup and that's it, okay? Make sure that it's selected and it says folder back up here and click select folder, all right? Um, I'm gonna check the enable automatic backup. Make sure your default stick mode is mode two. Uh, default channel order is fine. Uh, click the next two boxes to append and to offer to write. Then go up to the top here under application settings and here's what you wanna do. You wanna make sure and you can do, uh, you don't have to prompt for the radio pro. I don't like when it does that anyway. Make sure one, three, and four are checked. Make sure release is stable is checked. Use model wizard is fine. And remove empty model slots is fine. Automatic backup folder, again, we can go ahead and just click that and select backup uh, and just click select folder. Everything else here is perfect. So then we're just gonna click okay, all right? We now have our profile. If you look at the top here, we now have our profile set for this radio, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is, if you see these buttons here, right? This download button is gonna be the one, if you click it, it's gonna say, okay, this is, these are all the options that you asked when you were setting this up, and there has been no download of it, doesn't know when the last one was, so you can click, uh, well, if you click check for updates, it's gonna actually check for the OpenTX as well, and you can now download, uh, let me see, version 2.3, if it's not seen ever download, do you wanna download it? Click yes. And we're gonna go ahead and click yes. Now the question is, where do we put this and what do we title it? Here's what we're gonna do. 
we're going to go back to our downloads folder, back to our, our drones files, back to our transmitters folder, go to our radio that this applies to, and we are going to now make a folder in here because we don't have our SD card contents yet filled. We're going to make a folder in here. We're going to right click and then left click on new and go to folder. And we're going to call this one open TX dash FW. That stands for open TX firmware, which is exactly what we just downloaded. So also I would recommend that you just take this and shrink this down all the way. Okay. Don't make it so uh, large of a file name. Leave the model of the um, uh, radio, OpenTX X7, and then leave the firmware dash OTX. That's all. All right. And we're going to save that in our OpenTX firmware folder right here. Click save. Okay. So let it download. Now it's going to ask you if we want to go ahead and write to the radio. Well, my radio is not hooked up right now. So we're going to click no. Okay. And if you didn't download the SD card contents when you did the companion like I did, you could now go here to download SD contents and it's going to take you directly to the page you need. Watch. So it's going to open your browser. It may actually download faster this way. It's going to take you directly to the page you need for OpenTX. You don't have to click all the stuff like I did. You go here and you would basically just click the newest file, which is this one right here. Now I'm going to click it just to see if it starts downloading faster. Uh, and we'll see. I clicked it and it says it's going to take 39 seconds, 24. You know what? You may want to just do this instead of downloading it the other way because look how fast this goes. This is crazy. Okay. So now we've already downloaded this file anyway, um, but I uh, just wanted to see it. I mean, it took 40 minutes the other way and it took only like 30 seconds. All right. Let me wait for this to get done. I need for that circle to go away here and just show me the file name. If you do happen to do it this way, I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do. Okay. So I'm going to go show in folder. There's my SD card contents right there. I'm going to right click on it, left click on cut, go to drone files, go to open T uh, sorry, not drone, uh, not open TS, go to transmitters, go to the free sky, and I'm going to paste it right here for right now. Okay. So here comes the file that we just downloaded. It's going to take a very short time. I'm going to go at, even though I've already extracted it here, if you followed the first video, just in case you didn't do that, um, I'm going to go ahead and extract it again here. Okay, extract all. And it doesn't matter where you extract it. It just matters where you put the contents at the end. So I've already clicked for it to extract. I'm going to delete one of the files when I'm done, but let's just go ahead and see what happens. Okay, so when this is done extracting, I don't think we need to watch it. When it's done extracting, uh, what you're going to end up with is this right here, right? So I'm going to go to my zip files. You'll end up with this file right here. So here's the original we downloaded. Here's the extracted version, okay? So what I'm going to do here is, and I'm going to now just get rid of these ones, okay? If you do have this file, make sure to drop it into the zip folders, okay? But there's no need to keep these. So let me just go ahead and get rid of both of them since we already did it. I just wanted to see if it was faster to download, and it was at that time. All right, so we have our um, zip file here, right, with our SD card contents. We've extracted it, and here's the extraction information. So all these files make up quite a bit. Now, if I was to highlight them all and click properties, you're going to see that there's going to be thousands of files. Okay. And it's going to take, uh, let's see, you got a, uh, where's my file? 2086 files, but check this out, which takes up 152 minutes, but watch this. We're going to go to sounds and we're going to remove all the languages that we don't need. So I'm going to highlight, I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to highlight all of these. And then I'm going to go to the EN for English, hold my control key on my keyboard and click that. So it's not highlighted. Once these are all highlighted, I'm going to click delete because I don't need all those languages on mine. Okay. Watch how many files are just in sound. Once you get rid of this, this thing is only like 16 megs in size, super small. Okay. All right. So now that we've got our sounds as English, so let's go back to our SD card. These are the contents that we extracted. You're going to highlight all of these. Okay. Make sure to select them all and you're going to right click and left click on cut and go to your free sky QX7 ACCST folder, go to your SD card folder that you created, double click it, right click and left click on paste. All we're doing is putting those things after they've been cleaned up into this folder. Okay. Then what we're going to do is let's go back to our free sky folder here. Let's look at our files, the zip file. We no longer need this folder. All we want to do is keep zip files in here. So we're going to delete that. Okay. And we're going to go back to our transmitter, back to our QX7 right here. And now what we have is, remember how we had that open TX? That's our firmware that we want to put into our SD card as well. So we're going to right click on that folder, left click on cut, double click your SD card folder, 
Double click your firmware folder, right click here and just left click on paste. We're gonna keep this organized as best as we can. And since I know that we're gonna be downloading FreeSky uh, firmware updates, I'm gonna go ahead and make some folders here right now. I'm gonna right click and left click on new or go to new and then folder and I'm gonna type FRSKY, uh, sorry, it's a lowercase, FRSKY um, TX FW. That stands for transmit. TX is transmitter, right? So transmitter firmware, modules and transmitter, radio and the modules in the back and internal go in here. The next one, I'll click new folder again, will be FRSKY RX FW. And that's going to be for all the receivers that are on your drone. You will put all those firmwares in here and you will keep them organized very easily to do, very easy to do. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is now that we've got this done, let's head on over back to OpenTX. Okay. We've done all this so we can click OK. Now I'm going to take my radio. All right. And I'm going to get it ready to plug in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop here on this video so that you guys can get all your files lined up for your radio exactly like I've done. Whether you're running a QX7S or you're running an X9D Plus, Access or ACCST, the process is the same. Most important, keep everything in order and keep it filed properly so you can get to it easily, all right? So if you have any questions, guys, always you can always hit us up on our website. Uh, you can go to, uh, oh, I got an update ready to do on my computer. Um, or you can head on over to our uh, Facebook page, which is located right here, our groups page. Uh, did that come up? Is right there. You can head on over there and join that. There's a bunch of people there that can help you. And most of all, guys, if you will, please, 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 please subscribe. Uh, my kids actually watch this and they look at my subscribing list. They're big YouTube fans and all this stuff. And it just helps me, man. It's like bragging rights for my kids. All right. I appreciate it. Uh, other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. We'll be coming back around now uh, to do the um, radio portion of this to show you how that's done. I'm going to use the QX7, but you can use whatever radio you want. All the instructions are identical. They will apply exactly the same. All right. Uh, take care, guys. God bless. Be safe. And we'll see you soon. Bye.